And the last week of March is coming up and the energy for this week is very special. We're going to have a second full moon of the month on the 31st of March. And there's lots of energy coming up for this week from the 26th through the 1st of April. So stay connected because the angels are here and they're going to give us very powerful messages for this week. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back. My name is Maria and today we're receiving angel guidance for the week of the 26th through the 1st of April 2018. So if this is your first time here, remember to go to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new angel guidance or a new Reiki healing here in my channel. And for this special week, we're going to be using the messages from your angels oracle cards by the ring virtue. We have 44 cards in this deck. The messages are beautiful, very enlightening and very powerful. So that's why they asked me to choose this deck for this week. So they can give us beautiful messages and they can help us understand the energy of this last week of March coming with the full moon and all these special events happening. So as always, if this is your first time, I invite you to close your eyes and connect here with me and with the cards, asking our angels to give the right message, to give us the right uh, information that we need, whatever is going to resonate with our hearts, whatever is going to be helpful for us to understand for this week that is coming. So for Monday and Tuesday, they're asking me to keep shuffling just a little bit more, and then I will pull the card. So again, keep connected and asking them to give you the right message. Yeah, the card is here. Here, they actually chose two Monday and Tuesday so let's see for Wednesday and Thursday now what they want us to know for the middle of the week in preparation for this full moon the blue moon that is coming on the 31st so continuing to shuffle just again asking them for positive messages for whatever they want us to understand for Wednesday and Thursday for the middle of the week so we can get ready for a beautiful weekend. Lots of releasing energy for this full moon, especially in relationship to relationships, especially in um, connection with any kind of relationship in your life. This full moon is going to bring us lots of releasing, lots of letting go of the past. So the new moon can take over, bring us new energy. Two more cards for Wednesday and Thursday. So let's keep moving and checking now for the weekend where the 31st will fall. So let's keep moving forward and shuffling. Again, asking them for the message to know whatever they want us to understand for this full moon. They are telling me, <laughs> sorry, that's why I'm laughing. They are telling me that there is a special card here that is about the moon. But I'm not sure if they're going to choose this one. So let's keep shuffling and see what message is for the weekend. So we can have a beautiful weekend. It's already here. There you go. Okay. So now let's see for Monday and Tuesday. We got two cards. We got Fiona and we got Isabella. So Fiona says, now that you are, that you asked the angels for help, be open to receiving. Be open to receiving their guidance and their assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So what they wanted to understand, my dear, for the beginning of the week is that you need to trust. If you're asking for their help, if you already asked for their guidance, if you already contacted them, if you already allowed them to come forward and help you, simply wait and trust. You deserve their help. You are not, it's not like I always say, I'm not someone special that can connect with them, only myself. Everybody can do it. They are available for all of us. So what they wanted to understand that whenever, whenever you ask for their help, whenever you allow them to come to your life and start moving and shifting things in your favor, they will do it because you deserve it, but you need to trust them. You need to actually give your life in their hands so they can take over. But you have to remember this, my dear. You have to remember that whatever you asked, 
they are listening and they will bring it to you but you need to breathe you need to connect with them and allow them to do it without any doubts because your doubts will block them they can be very close to you very close up to to manifest whatever you're asking but if in the last minute you doubt it then this can't happen because you're ready it's like you're telling them no don't do it so remember my dear it's very important to trust when we live in this energy of allowing and trusting the universe then everything will work there is no wrong way there is no chances for things to go wrong but you need to trust completely so what they want you to do for the beginning of your week is to ask them and to trust that they will help you they're telling me now especially because we were talking about relationships we were talking about releasing the past because of the full moon especially in regards to relationships if there is anything that is keeping you down that is making you upset that is just being heavy for you in regards to relationships any kind of relationships family partners friends if there is anything that needs to be cleared and released this is the time to ask your angels to come forward and clear it from your past even relationships from past lives they're telling me now even if it's something that you're not even aware of just ask them tell them to come and clear it tell them that you are ready to step into a new version of you to step into a new time of your life with beautiful unfolding of relationships so ask them and they will help you they will guide you they will start to arrange things for the best so remember to begin your week with this intention that this week I'm going to release whatever is not serving me so when the new moon comes up everything will start to change but allow the angels to work allow them to come forward open your heart for them talk to them tell them whatever is upsetting you whatever is making you sad so they can understand they already know they're sorry they're correcting me they're saying that they already know how you feel they are they already listen to you to everything that's been going on but it needs to acknowledge their existence you need to acknowledge that they are there to help you that they can help you you have to literally tell them that you are ready that you allow them to work with you so you ask for their help and they can step forward and shift things whatever you need to be cleared and now the second card it's it's perfect it's isabella and it's saying yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectations it's what it's just the same thing we were talking about if you trust if you release there are new things coming all your expectations everything that you want will be achieved trust this message understand this if you release it if you are ready to let go they will work for you especially especially with this energy with this powerful energy of the full moon so they can come and clear it and everything all these new ventures that you want all these new changes that you want they will come to you because you released you open space in your life for new things to come and your expectations will be reached just the way you asked but you need before that you have to leave space for things to come in your heart for things to happen in your life so ask the angels first wait and trust for all this energy to start working on your life working on your path working on your heart and then the new things will start to come as long as you allow the healing to take over you allow this releasing to take over and you just simply let go you simply wait and trust so the angels can bring the right relationships and any other kind of shifts that need to be done in your life right now okay my dear so let's check now 
for Wednesday and Thursday. They chose again two cards and it's two blue cards actually talking about blue moon. Two blue cards very related to throat chakra to communication expression and one the first one is Ray and it says yoga and exercise are essential for your well-being your well-being peace of mind and spiritual growth right now so what they are asking you with this card in the middle of the week that if you start to feel this energy of releasing being a little bit hectic because it can be a little bit um, not hard because it's it's it's, a, it's for a positive change but you might feel that things are a little bit out of balance yeah that's the right word they're telling me yeah that's it out of balance but that's not out of balance that is just whatever is not keeping you in balance that is being removed so if you start to feel that you're you know a little bit sad or your energy is a little bit low in the middle of the week they're asking you to exercise they're asking you to recharge your energy through taking care of your body as well when we move our physical body we're also moving our energy body and this helps the energy that is blocked in any of the chakras it helps the energy to also move and to also flow better so what they're asking you is to dedicate in the middle of the week especially towards taking care of your, of your energy how through exercising through taking care of your body because like i told you when you move your body you will move the energy as well not only with uh, yoga yoga of course is really positive if you practice yoga great but if you don't practice yoga you can do any other kind of exercise you don't even need to go to the gym they're telling me for you to even turn on some music and dance if you dance you're moving your body and you're also in a very happy spirit a very happy energy so the energy throughout your aura throughout your energy body will start to flow and you will start to release even better so you won't feel so much you know this waves of energy that are coming because of this full moon okay my dear and now the next card is celeste it's beautiful a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in, in the works this movement will usher in positive new energy yes my dear so if you're watching this and your shifts your changes are not related to relationships this is the card for you if up to now you were feeling no there is nothing wrong with my relationships right now so the message is not making sense so they are telling you now no it's not only for relationships it's also for a new home for a new employment for a new job for any kind of new energy that will bring you a new lifestyle so this powerful energy of shifting and releasing of the full moon will also help you to release any energy that is keeping you stuck to anything in your life right now any area so if you're planning to move to a new place they're telling you yes the energy is being cleared so you can move to the right place you will find the right place the right home for you also the same for new jobs the same for new employments the same for new careers if something is not right right now ask the angels to help you release it ask the angels to help you detach from this energy so we'll be stepping forward towards the best towards whatever you're asking for so the new employment will come the new job will show up just the way you want the perfect one the one that you've been waiting for so like i told you there's lots of shifts there's lots of releasing during this week so enjoy this time to just think about whatever is keeping you stuck right now even financially they're telling me now even financially if there is something that is keeping you stuck that is bothering you close your eyes breathe a little bit in the, in the beginning of the week tell the angels i'm ready take it out clear it for me 
any attachments that I have in this lifetime, in previous lifetimes, anything that is keeping me stuck, I'm not ready. Please release it, please clear it, so we can step into the new life together. Okay, my dear, and again, remember, if you feel that you need, remember to do some exercises to keep your energy flowing, to keep your energy more positive, so you'll be going towards these shifts, towards this new opening of doors, the opening of light. There's a lot of light showering towards us now. So you will be stepping into this light ready. Okay, so remember, it's very important to take care of your physical body as well. And now for the weekends, they chose Bethany. So Bethany says, when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. So for the weekend, again, in all these preparations of uh, the new shifts, the new energy, this beautiful light that is coming towards us now, in preparation, take care of yourself during the weekend. Enjoy yourself. Allow, again, like I told you, this is for the whole week, this releasing, this letting go. So allow yourself to enjoy this flow, to enjoy this energy. So the more you enjoy it, the more you have fun, the more you take care of yourself, the more energy you'll be releasing. Because you're not focusing on the negative, you're focusing simply allowing your path to unfold. So remember, my dear, for the weekends, to take care of yourself, have fun with yourself, go to the movies, relax, to, to go for a massage with your friends or anything that will uplift your energy, will help you recharge, go for a walk outside, go in contact with nature. If you go to, the na to nature, it's going to be beautiful, your energy is going to be fully cleared and recharged, especially in nature because the connection with the moon will be beautifully uh, coming towards you. So remember, my dear, during the weekend to recharge, to take care of yourself. If you can, during the day of the full moon on the 31st, go outside at night a little bit, breathe, just receive this amazing and powerful energy that is going to be showering through and coming to us this beautiful light, this opening of new portals of light in your life. So take good care of yourself. This is the main message from the angels for this week. It's a very important week. Lots of new things are going to start to come forward for the next months. Things are going to start to change for the best. New opportunities, new jobs, new people, many beautiful things happening collective consciousness are going to be starting to unfold even more. We're going to be connecting even stronger with us and with our angels and with the universe. So it's a beautiful energy that is coming now. This blue moon is going to bring us lots of positive changes. So I wish you a wonderful weekend and remember to take very good care of yourself. And this was our angel guidance for this upcoming week from the 26th of March through the 1st of April. I wish you a wonderful and a blessed week, beautiful soul, in the company of your angels. And remember to open your heart for this beautiful path that is coming towards you. Again, I wish you a blessed week. Enjoy yourself, take very good care of yourself, and I'll see you very soon again. Remember to comment below how was your experience this week. I really, really want to know how is this releasing happening with you? What are the things that you're feeling right now? And then we can connect. I'll be waiting for your comments. And again, I will see you soon. Have a wonderful week and Namaste.